Welcome to our video on how to use Zoho CRM tags. Tags are basically labels that you can add to your records and it helps you sort and filter and use the tag criteria for a number of different actions within Zoho. We're going to start by showing you how you can create a tag. So tags, an important thing to know, are, are specific to each module. So I'm going to show you how to create a tag in the contact module, and then I'll show you how it, you have to do it in other modules as well, which is basically just repeating it. So you would come over to Actions on the right and click on the button, and then you're going to go down to Manage Tags. When you go to Manage Tags, you will see all of the tags that have been created for the contact module, and you can work with these, you can edit them, um, you can rename them, you can delete them if you want, or you can create a new tag. So here, we can do a new tag here, and I will, oops, you click in the box. Oh, that tag already exists. Um, call example today, save, and then you can scroll down and you'll see here's the one that we just created. Once you do that, you can go back out into the module and you will have it. So if we were then to go to the accounts module, go to the actions, manage tags, you'll see that the tag I just created is not there. You would have to go through the same process in every module where you want a specific tag. If we go back to the contacts module now, you can see I added the column so you can see what the tags are. And there are several ways that you can add tags to a record. So we'll start with Gary Smith, who has no tags. And he has no tags, but if you come up here on the left side by his record name, you can see you have this option to add tags. If I click on that, click in the box, and scroll down, example today, click save, and I now have my uh, tag here for this record. I can click on the add tags again, and if I wanted to remove this tag, I can just click right here on the X to remove the tag from this individual record. Cancel out of that, though. Go back out here to the contact view, and now you can see that Gary Smith has the example today tag included for him. The other way that you can add tags without going into the individual records is to click on, each, on the record. So if I was to click just on Alice Tester, you can see that this tag button came and it says add tags or remove tags. You don't have to just do this for Alice Tester though. You can choose Alice, you can choose Jane, we can choose Affie, we can choose Gary. And then for all four of these at the same time, we can go to add tags and then we can go, we can scroll down, use our example today, save. And now you can see that the example today has been added to each of these records. Similarly, you can also remove the tags. As you saw before, remove tags is here, and you would do the same process. So I'd be able to remove the tag. So now you can see that example today is no longer showing for Jane Jones. Once you have the tags, there's a few different ways here within this module screen that you can use them. And the first way is to go on the left to the filter and go to the tags field, the option here, click it. And then you can then, we can click on example today, apply the filter. And now you can see that the four records that we applied the tag to are the ones that are showing here. I'm gonna clear out of that. And then in the all contacts or any of the views, I can also go in here and create a new custom view, and I can call it um, example today tag. I can um, uh, type in tag here, go to tag, and I can go to example today. I can add whatever other fields I want here. I'll add the, um, the tag column. And I'll move that up here, save. And now you can see that I have a view with the example today also that is only showing these. 
Uh, let's go back to all contacts. So that's one of the ways that you can use tags. So really anywhere that you have criteria, whether it be reports or dashboards, tags can also always be one of your criteria. The other place you can use uh, tags is in your automations, your workflows or your blueprints. Um, and if we go into workflow just to show you, we can go, here's a tag example. We can use the tag as your criteria and you can also use it as your um, as your action as your instant action. So um, one of your instant actions here is tag and you can use it to add a tag or remove a tag. Tag is not an option in the scheduled actions, but it is here in the um, in the scheduled actions. So within a workflow, the two ways that you can use the tag again is in the filter on the criteria or as one of your instant actions. And you can do the same for blueprints uh, and some of the other criteria as well. You can always use it as a filtering criteria. So this is just a quick overview to show you what Zoho CRM tags are. If you want any other information about Zoho, please feel free to email us at info at marksgroup.net. You can also visit our website at marksgroup.net and see all of our blogs and events that we have. We do uh, run scheduled CRM admin training, and if you go to our events page, you will be able to find it there. Thank you, and again, email us at info at marksgroup.net for any questions you have. Thank you.